Hi and welcome to Hi on Coding. I'm your host Mohammad Azam, and in this particular screencast, I will show you how you can create an images or show images inside the Auto Suggest box. And this particular screencast is based on the last screencast. So if you haven't checked out that one, I highly recommend that you do so. So the uh, the get customers function or the get customers method in the web web method, uh, the only change I made is to add the last I mean the image URL and everything like the first name last name they are separated by a bar symbol I mean you can use any symbol I just like to use bar and you'll see in a moment why I use that if I go back over here I don't have any code so let's go ahead and write the code the first thing I need to do is to implement the on client populated event so I can say over here get customers uh, populated so basically this event is fired when the when we get the uh get the result back from the web service. Okay, so and I can say there we go. Sender. So now I need the completion list. I can say var customers equal to and uh this can be sender dot get uh completion list dot child nodes and you will see that the child nodes will of course be the XML nodes over here now the next thing is uh, let, let me go ahead and alert it out so you'll see what I'm talking about so if I type actually over here Scott so it's a node list as you can see so now I can go and I can loop through that and uh, get the first name, last name, and the image. And wherever the image is, I will create an image object, the image element, and then I will inject into this. If you see the customers of zero and customer one, these are all list item elements. Okay, and the best way to look at them is by looking at them in the Firebug. Firebug is a like a debugging tool, which is kind of add-on for the Firefox browser. It's a must-have if you are doing JavaScript development. Okay, so let me go ahead and run the loop and uh, I'll say i is less than customers dot length i plus plus okay and in this case I can say var customer equal to customers of i but this is not really a customer it's a data well so it will be in kind of in the form of this first name you know bar last name bar the image URL okay and now we need to separate it out so the easier easiest way to do this is uh, I will simply say var customer array okay and I can actually split it so I would say inner HTML dot split and I will split by this so now I'll have, I will have a a string array containing of three locations zero will contain the first name uh, one will contain the last name and two will come to contain the image URL okay at this point I can also assign something to data so data dot inner HTML I can kind of like format it out I can say customer array of zero location which is first name and plus the customer array of one location or the first location which is the last name so the data that will be displayed will be the first name plus last name but I also want to add the image so let's create the image element equal to document dot create element and I will create the image element image has a source so I can simply assign the source which is the customer array of two okay and then finally I can say append the child image so this will append it. Just going to remove the alert box. And let's go ahead and refresh it again. So if I now type, you'll see that the image is actually pops out. And you can select. So this is much better if you know it's a much better experience to actually see the image of a person that you are searching for. I mean if I type my name, my image will pop out, and so on. Okay? So it's much better, I guess, right? And it's uh, very easy to do it. Uh, you just have to implement the on client populated event. 
and you have to just send the parameters in a way that you can actually make sense of it. I have used a bar to separate out the three or four parameters. In the later screencast, I will show you that how you can use JSON to get a more richer format or a rich experience when you are uh, building up this kind of like image or when you're assigning the values to the final element. That's pretty much it. I hope you like this uh, tutorial. And if you want to sponsor High on Coding, uh, just email me at azamsharp at gmail.com if you have any suggestion about future screencasts, if you have uh, any ideas, any comments, any rants, email me at azamsharp at gmail.com. Thank you very much.